Hey everybody, Mag here. I want to make a short video about how to play with Vidasi. I made a couple other videos about her. Uh, she's pretty much my main character that I play all the time, but uh, I think a lot of people don't understand how to really play with a Vidasi on their team. You know, I was in a game and somebody was basically said to me, is that all she can heal? And this is at the beginning of the match. I couldn't get my mic working to talk to the guy, but uh, the way Vidasi works is she she doesn't do a ton of healing. Like even if you take all of her he like all the bonuses to her healing, she's not mercy. She's never gonna out heal damage that you're gonna take. Really, her role as far as healing is that she is there to to give you enough healing to allow you to get out of a fight. Well, and also, the other thing about her is that with the way that I build her, at least, um, I build her so she's giving armor to the enemy team as we fight together. So, she's not going to do a ton of healing, but what, once you get later in the game, when she's picked up some of her abilities, and she can she can do all this, she can give you armor, or give you damage boost, she'll run, uh, you want to have the Vidasi with you, you run in, she'll pop her her orbs, which will give you bonus armor, and when she heals you um, on the build I go, it also gives you armor. So she brings a lot of damage reduction to the fights. And I think people don't get that right away. They, The game I was playing, I think they were just expecting me to basically be a bloomer and heal them up out of combat. And really the thing with the way Vidasi works, with the way her orbs work, it's not always the best situation to run around and try to heal your whole team up to full. It's better to get out of combat between fights and, and get your own health back and let them get their own health back too on their own where typically the rule is if you're in a fight and you're at half or less, it's time to try and back out so you don't die. And I think people just don't understand like how like how Vidasi really works. And one thing you have to keep in mind is early on, Vidasi is not going to be a ton of help because um, she's one of those characters that takes a lot of her skills really to for her to start to get good. Um, in fact, early on, she almost can't really use her orbs too much because she'll end up taking too much damage, and uh, it's just it's, it's it's hard for her to be super effective in fights. But once you've gotten past like level six or seven, she really starts to get powerful to the point where she can run in with your team, and if she times it right, she can be giving everybody armor at the same time. And so you're getting anywhere from a 30 to 50 percent damage reduction from having her with you. Um, if she goes her damage build early, she can contribute a lot of damage to fights too. Um, and like I said, she provides that healing for for heroes that just need to get out of the fight and might die otherwise. So when you're playing with Vidasi, keep those things in mind. Realize that early she's not going to be amazing until she gets some of her abilities. And later on, it's really, she's not, if you're too low, she's not going to be able to do She's not mercy. She's not going to heal you up to full in a couple of seconds. It's never going to happen. But what she can do is give you enough armor and healing to get you out of a bad situation. And another thing to keep in mind when you're playing with Vidasi too is that she does not have movement abilities. And you can't see other people's stamina and I really wish you could. But uh, if you can communicate with your Vidasi, it's important to um, be knowing where her stamina is at and what her ability to move with the team is. Because... If you're Margrave and you just leap out of a fight and your Vidasi is out of stamina, you just left her to die. Whereas if you move together and she heals you and gives you armor, um, you go you can both get out and survive that. So keep that in mind. keep try to keep those things in mind when you're playing with Vidasi. Um, it's uh, it, it's good to kind of get an idea. It's like al always utilize voice chat whenever you can, but try and get an idea of how well, like how well your Vidasi knows that character, and also kind of their play style. Because some Vidasi just go damage early and don't even spec into the extra armor and healing and things like that. 
So, you know, they, that communication is always important. But uh, just don't don't expect your Cassie to just be a bloomer because that is not her function at all in this game. Um, thanks for watching, guys.